Hello there, welcome back to the Emirates. The last time I was there was three days ago for the women's game, drew 2 2. Last time I was here for the main Arsenal team against Brighton, we played and we drew 1 1. So, not a great start for me in terms of games I've attended. But today is the Carabao Cup against Bolton Wanderers. We've just come back off the back of, we just come off the back of a big week. Uh, we played away at Tottenham, then played away at Atlanta, Italy, then played away at Man City on Sunday. It was a tough week. Didn't lose, uh, but obviously two draws. We were seconds away from beating Man City, just seconds. Held on for 52 minutes with 10 men with a red card. Couldn't quite hold on. We were literally seconds away. It was very annoying. A very tense game. Both teams came out very angry about that game. And understandably so. It does feel like a proper tense rivalry though, which is what this league kind of needs, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm here for a different competition, the Carabao Cup. I have expected us to rest plenty of players, and we have, but we also started a few starters too. But we have a 16-year-old starting in goal. The reason is Raya is injured, Neto is cup-tied, which is a bit of an annoying thing, of course, because he's back up to Raya and he should be playing today. But because he played for Bournemouth in the cup already, we can't play him. We've got an 18-year-old goalkeeper who we signed recently who is injured as well. And now we've got our fourth choice 16 16-year-old 16 goalkeeper playing tonight against Bolton Wanderers. It's now a proper Barclays team, but obviously haven't been in the Premier League in a little while. Um, obviously not as good as they used to be. But um, I expect them to give us a tough game today. Um, but yeah, 16-year-old in goal, there's a lot of pressure on that. Um, and hopefully he does well because that is very young, especially for a goalkeeper. So hopefully... Hopefully our defence protects him, but obviously we've not got a starting defence today. The rest of our lineup goes like this. Nichols, Calafiori, Kiwio and Lewis Skelly at the back. Uh, Rice in front of him with Jorginho. Uh, no one there he playing. I, I've heard get, great, great things about him, so hopefully he plays well today. And we also got Saka playing, which um, I've always been against us resting players at the Carabao Cup because we've not won it enough. <laughs> we've won it twice in the history, both before my lifetime. I was born in 95, I lost was in 93, I won it in 87 as well, so even Wenger didn't win this competition. I'd love to win the League Cup, it would be great. Uh, so, but having said that, even though I've criticised us resting players in this competition, at the same time, we do overplay Saka constantly, he plays so many minutes, and it's a testament to him that he doesn't get injured from that, the amount of games he plays. I feel like today would have been a great time to rest him, but he's playing, he's starting, so fair enough. And Sterling starts, which I agree with, and Jesus starts as well, so it's fairly strong here and there. We've got a couple first choices, Declan Rice and Kai Osaka, uh, but mostly uh, a backup team and also a 16 year old in goal like that is the fourth choice goalkeeper let's see how it goes hello Thierry and hello me So the away fans sit right there, that's their entrance, that's the corner they sit in. I am just down over there. That is a great piece of artwork. There's eight of these around the stadium, all different artworks obviously. I barely ever come around this side, so I barely ever see this. The way, I won the ballot for this game, obviously. I mean, I'm right here, I won the ballot. Um, but they put me in row one, obviously with a ballot they allocate you the seat. They put me in row one. Now row one was exciting to me about 14 years ago when I first started going to games. Um, now, it's just like, it's a little too low for me. I feel it's got to be at least row 10 upwards. And I've always been rowing upwards, but not today. So it's a bit frustrating because the pitch is like a bit of a hill. It's not higher than you, but it's still like a little bit higher. And the other side of the pitch, when you look at the other side of the pitch, you can't always tell if the ball has gone off or not or whatever. You can still see most of the action. It's just that there's some things you won't be able to see because we won't be able to see the, the touchline on the other side of the pitch. So that's going to be a bit annoying, but is what it is. At least I'll get some good close-up views from row one as well, from when the action is actually next to us. That's going to be great, but I'd rather be a bit higher, at least row 10. That is H. I'm in G. Today, the back queue, I'm going to skip it in a second. Uh, I'm in G. I should have just come down that way, because that's where, that's where I go home after the game. Guys, guys.
enjoy the life. Fantastic. Great to see you, my friend. Enjoy this evening. Let's get a score prediction from you. Oh, I'm going to say 4-0 on a clean sheet. 4-0 on a clean sheet. We got that. I'm excited to see some, some new guys, some youngsters out there. 100%. I mean, we even saw a bit of a uh, skilly in the last few minutes of Manchester City. And uh, I just think these players are definitely the greatest. So, I think I've got a lot of so I can't wait.
the fourth official indicating a minimum of three minutes at a time. Three minutes. I literally forgot to do the ballot for Leicester, so that's my bad. Nowadays ticket exchange is only for a uh, failed ballot entrance. I did apply for Liverpool recently, I didn't get it, so yeah, I did get another game though that's coming up soon. But yeah, that was the game, um, one area scored twice, so he played well, Saka played well, Rice scored his goal, Avert came on, scored a goal, Sterling scored his first goal. A few players, a few youth players played their first games in today and first home games or just first games full stop. Some good performances I feel, all round some good performances. A few defensive errors here and there. Bolton had some had some threat at some points in the game but we played well and uh, we won the game. So yeah, only way it could have been better if we got a clean sheet but we couldn't get it. But it is what it is. 
but yeah, it was a nice game to watch and uh, hopefully we can progress and do well next round. And uh, yeah, come on off. Uh, this Saturday against Leicester, I won't be there of course, but hopefully we'll win, uh, get the W if we do need it. And uh, I'm very excited to see what we do this season. Um, so yeah, and obviously the Champions League is coming soon as well. Cannot wait for that, obviously it's already started, but I've not been at home yet in the Champions League, so I'm looking forward to uh, Last season in Champions League, we played some great games at home. Some of the best games all season, so I'm looking forward to that too. But yeah, that's a good, there's a bright future ahead as well, I think, not just this season, but in future seasons, based on what I've seen today, some good performances from our young players. So uh, yeah, not much to complain about really, so fair play, that was good. Um, one funny thing at, the, at half time, right? Normally at half time, at all games, they get some kids to take penalties. Um, the presentation. There's, today they had six, it's only like three or four. Today they had six of them. Uh, so one of the kids was clearly the oldest one. Like normally they're all like under 10. This kid felt, looked like he was like 11, 12 years old, right? It, it was proper show off. He missed three times. You normally know, take one penalty. If you miss, they let you take the rebound or whatever. This guy, he missed it. it, it hits the post, it, Ganosaurus saves it, whatever. It's against Ganosaurus on that spot. The second time, he tries to volley it, does some skills, thinks he's sick, puts it wide, and then the third time, hits it straight at the keeper, Ganosaurus, and Ganosaurus just scores an own goal for him, just to make sure it's over. I've not explained it too well, but it was hilarious to watch. Everyone who watched it half time was laughing. I wish I filmed it, to be honest. I was never going to film some of that anyway, but like, I should have filmed that part, because he missed three times, it was so funny. This kid was like clearly older than the rest. Um, but yeah, that was uh, quite fun entertainment. Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, enjoyed the game. 5-1 win, apart from the rain. So it's only the first couple rows, two or three rows that are like not covered. The rest of the stadium is. I saw people behind me in row three, row four, who were completely dry. And I was so jealous of them. Sitting in row one, I got absolutely soaked. Like it wasn't too bad uh, for the most part. For the most part, it wasn't too bad. Like the, it was light rain, it didn't get that wet. But it started getting heavy towards the end. I'm just like, I'm just sitting there getting soaked. People around me moved, I didn't move. Uh, if I'm sick tomorrow, I know why. <laughs> also, my work, from my previous workplace, for the, the workplace has shut down. One of my work colleagues is here at the game. So I'm gonna go meet up with him, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna head home now. I've got videos to work on for all channels, including this one. <laughs> and hope you enjoyed the vlog. And the next vlog is not too far away. I've got one more game that I wanna ballot for. Hopefully they win more this season. They also got tickets for two women's games coming up uh, in the next couple of months. Maybe even sooner than the next couple of months, but you'll see. Um, but you yeah, hope you enjoyed this vlog. I said had a good time. It's nice to see us win. I love going to Arsenal games, so any win is great, no matter how. And this was a nice 5 1 victory. So, yeah, this is your boy David off. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. We have trolleys in it. Have okay. you got around with it?